Go on. Hello, AJ. Hello. I'm just wondering, how does the IVF system work in this? Sorry, how does the IVF system work with this? Um, it's been a question I've answered before, actually, in quite a number of uh, presentations. Um, with with difficulty, can I say? This is why a lot of uh, IVF doesn't take, what they call take, is because there's a lot of things going on emotionally. Firstly, why doesn't a couple conceive in the first place? It's because of specific emotions in the mother and father that the conception is not taking place. So a lot of people then say, oh, but no, it's to do with sperm count, and it's to do with this, and it's to do with that. No, it's not, I'm sorry. It's actually to do with specific emotions that created those effects. Right? And some of those effects are a low sperm count or even no sperm maybe or you know the egg not releasing or all sorts of things can go on due to emotional injuries. Most of them are intergender based emotional injuries. And so the couple not conceiving in the first place is often due to an emotional injury. Many of you have heard of couples not conceiving. They go through a whole IVF program, they conceive a child and then nine months later they conceive another one. Why did that happen? Because certain emotional injuries got released during those two times. And that's why that happened. And emotional injuries are very specific about what they attract every single time. So if we want a child, we say we want a child, and we're not attracting a child, it's because of an emotional injury inside of us that is not attracting a child. Assuming, of course, we're making love and having sex. Uh, then, of course, if you're not having sex and you want a child, well, that's a different thing. You know, there's a different set of attractions there. Um, one of them is you don't want to have sex, obviously, and you need to adopt. But, <laughs> but, but I'm talking about the normal relationship thing going on. So that being said, a child who go, a child is conceived through IVF still is conceived through the emotional condition of the parents who long for it. Does that make sense? So it's still governed by the same laws and the same principles. But the reason why many don't conceive is the same, why, why many don't take, if you like, is, is the same reason why the couple can't conceive in the first place. Because what's going on might be for the woman or the man that they're actually investing a lot of their emotions in having a child and that they want to have a child for some unhealed emotional reason within themselves. And many children incarnating feel repelled by that emotion. Does that make sense? Well, you imagine, if you have a job before you start, many of you have been born and had a job before you began. And that job was to love your mummy or love your daddy. Right? And it's a terribly oppressive emotion. And it's an emotion that causes the rejection of the incarnation of children. And it also is the same emotion, similar types of emotions that cause miscarriages, of course. Those kind of emotions are felt at all sorts of times that cause miscarriages and lack of conception. Understand that everything that happens, happens because of a soul-based emotional cause. It's very powerful to understand that. 